All right, everyone. So today we're going to talk about Snapchat. This is a very hot network at the moment. Snapchat is uh, only available as an app. Um, you have to get it on iPhone or Android. It's it's not on a uh, it's not on the web. Even though you can go to Snapchat.com, it'll just basically tell you what it is and why you want it and all of that. Um, so, so Snapchat. I'm just gonna go get my Android. Okay, no problem. Come back. Great, no problem. So, what Snapchat will be is here's kind of like a little preview. Um, it evolved as a. It started off as a, as sort of like a uh, a one-on-one -on -one chat app where you would send snaps to each other. Uh, it evolved from it was it was simply just text in the beginning. Then it became video, and then you can see here's the example. You can draw, send it to individual people or lots of people. So it's like it's like a text messaging app. It's like iMessage or it's like um, what else? WhatsApp, Viber, etc. But the big difference is um, these are chats that are temporary. These are snaps that only last a certain amount of time. I believe the minimum is three seconds, the maximum is 10 seconds. So you send someone a message, actually I think it's just one second. So between one and 10 seconds, you send a message to someone, they see it and then it goes away. So for personal and for fun and such, it has that kind of purpose. But recently, this Snapchat company has become so valuable that Facebook tried to buy them for like a billion dollars or something, and Snapchat said, nah, we're fine, and they didn't accept the offer. So you can see there, if Facebook is going to throw money, a billion dollars at you, and they rejected it, there's something big going on here. Because Instagram, they bought Instagram for a billion dollars and um, other, other networks. So for example, here, the latest generation of Snapchat, and we'll see it when we create it, this little ad that's happening here. Let's see if it loops back. So a couple people are chatting with each other, snapping with each other, and then it becomes, let's see, you can draw, and then it becomes, after the send right here, you will see right there, discover. Um, there's live events that go on. There's also channels, so to speak, of various companies right there, CNN, People, National Geographic, Vice, etc where they have paid snapchat to be sort of like featured in the service and you'll see that we can see pictures video drawings emoji stickers and so forth so for personal one aspect of it is that you're chatting privately with with each other but as a marketer companies like mcdonald's use it comedy central taco bell national geographic etc where you put these sort of small stories out there to entice people because they're so temporary, like a 10 second coupon. You get followers. Um, people can follow you on Snapchat. Let's say I'm a company. And on, to my followers, I tell them, hey, everyone, this Friday we're going to put out an exclusive coupon. Be on the lookout for it. And then we publish it, it's available for 10 seconds, and the coupon is, you know, 10% off at the store. So you go to the store, you show the coupon, you have 10 seconds, and you get your deal. So that's one aspect of how Snapchat can be used. So in order to get into it, we need the app. It's either iPhone or, or Android. So within your app, within your device, that is, you'll need to you'll need to get to the App Store and let me switch perspectives here, let me turn on my web camera let me get my web camera and show my device you should already, um, well you should go over to the to your App Store and search Snapchat So this should be similar on Android 
or iPhone. Basically, you're going to find the Snapchat app. So here, oh, that's interesting. It's got three stars out of five, 1,200 reviews. Probably part of the reason is they recently updated their terms of service and people are not happy with the change. Uh, it's actually a little less, um, in a sense, private. They changed their deal that says if you use Snapchat now, we can use your pictures and your uh, photos and all of that for marketing purposes, and people are not liking that. So here's the Android version. 3.9 stars, 4 million downloads. So either iPhone or Android, you're going to need the app. Go ahead and take a moment to download it, and then I'll show you how to set it up. But you need to have a lot of followers in order to your campaigns to work with uh, some slow time well, any of these social networks, you're going to need to build an audience, yes. And maybe if you've already started to build an audience on Google+, Plus or Facebook, or Twitter, you can migrate them over to Snapchat. You're going to tell people, hey, exclusive coupons on Snapchat, and then we'll see how we can get people to follow us on Snapchat. So there's so many avenues, so many social networks, and maybe this one is going to be the one that's really going to work. Maybe Instagram is the one that's really going to work. You never really know. That's why I, I want to do sort of like an overview of many of them um, to see which one might work out. What do you know about the boomerang? Boomerang? I know that it is a cartoon network. No, um, boomerang, I don't know. It's I haven't heard of that one. So there's, a, there's an app called Boomerang? Let me take a quick look here. There might be one that I need to, to learn about because I don't think I've heard of it. Boomerang? Uh, well, it's here it says Boomerang for Instagram. Let's see what that means. Maybe they connect with Instagram. From Instagram. Oh, yes, from Instagram. Um, Instagram makes everyday moments fun and unexpected. You know, now that I think about it, I think this is sort of like Instagram's version of Snapchat. Maybe? Has anyone heard of that? Boomerang? Let's see. Create captivating mini videos that loop back and forth, then share them with your friends. Find something or someone that's moving. Maybe this is like the Instagram version of Vine? It's just one button, tap it once, and Boomerang does the rest, shoots a burst of 10 photos, and turns them into a delightful mini-video. Share it on Facebook. It, it reminds me of Instagram video. It reminds me of Vine. I don't know. I, I haven't heard of it, but I guess it's pretty new. What do you know about it? Not much. I guess hear, hear about that uh, on a group uh, talking to about the uh, uh, Periscope. Mm -hmm. There's so many, there's so many things to get educated on that uh, there's not enough time, is there? Later on, we're going to touch on these other networks right here that you might not have ever heard of, but we'll get back to that later. So uh, let's uh, see about setting up um, Snapchat. I already downloaded it. I have it here on my iPad. Uh, so basically, when you turn it on the first time, it says log in or sign up. And if you look at carefully, actually, that your camera's on. I can't see it on my recording here, but your camera is on looking at you. So we've got log in or sign up. I'm going to go with sign up. It's going to ask you email address, password, birthday. So you have to be at least 13 years old, I believe, to use Snapchat. So go ahead and put in an email address.
and then a birthday. And when I click sign up, Okay, so then on the second screen, it'll probably ask you for a username. Uh, again, you, uh, Snapchat is very popular, so the name that you wanted might have been taken. I'm just putting in some gibberish one here. You want to put in a username. It is changeable, but there's a username that is uh, the main name, and then uh, another name, sort of like a known by name. So create that username, continue. It may ask you for your phone number. There is a button to skip it. I'm going to skip it. And so here it's going to ask me, in my case, select all the images that contain a ghost. Just to confirm that I am a person and not a robot. At least 13 years old. All right. So eventually, no, it can it can be a fake name. It can be a pseudonym or a company name. Sure. So I'll I'll wait for everyone to make sure you've got an account. And then we'll see how it works. Does anyone need any help? Eventually it'll, it'll say tap to take a photo, hold to take a video. So let me wait for you. If anyone needs any help, you want to create an account. So while you're setting that up, the concept is we can share photos or video. Uh, we'll see that we can write on the photos or video. We can draw. We can also add emoji icons and um, filters. So we can make them. So it's in a sense, kind of, it's reminiscent of Instagram in, in that it can have filters, but then you've got the ability to, to draw on the on the pictures as well. So does anyone need any help? Can you create two accounts with the same phone number? I don't believe so. I think you need a separate one just because they assume it's people creating them. Eventually with businesses, I think they'll be able to uh, create more than one, but right now it's just one at a time.
you can skip it. If it's asking for a phone number, you can click skip. That way you won't have to use your, your okay. number. Okay, so let's say you created the account and you have these different icons on the interface. There's some sort of notification on the bottom left, another one on the bottom right, and you've got some icons on the top right, in the center, and the top left. And it's telling me, take a photo, tap to take a photo, hold to take a video. So I'm just going to, I'll explain what the icons do, but right now I'm just going to tap once right there. And so what happens is I tapped once and I get a bunch of other icons, which I'll explain what they do, what they are. But let's just say I took a photo, it's telling me add a caption, but here's the big thing at the bottom. I took a photo, I just tapped it once to take a photo. At the bottom, you've got the icons. Your time limit on the left, how long can your followers, your connections, see this photo or video? So if I tap that, it does go down to one second and up to 10 seconds. So let's say I want people, the default was three. People have three seconds to see this photo. I can download the photo to my camera roll, tapping that one. So I'm saving it to my camera roll. It doesn't automatically save it to my camera roll. I tap the second button there to save it. This third button is the My Story, which is very cool, but I'll get back to that one. And then this last one over here is, okay, share it. Who are you going to share it with? So I'm going to click Share. And then at the moment, I don't have really any connections. I've, I'm connected with, with Team Snapchat and just myself. But let's say I had a bunch of followers. They'd all be listed here. And I'd be saying, share this with this follower and that follower. You can turn it on, and you can send it to these people. So I sent that particular picture to myself, but let's say it was a follower or a customer. Um, so the interface to kind of get around in the beginning is a little confusing because you're basically swiping without much um, explanation in all directions. Right now I'm on this Snapchat uh, screen of uh, my connections. If I snap, if I swipe to the left, it takes me back to the camera. So from the camera, if I swipe to the right, it takes me back to this screen where I've recently had conversations with. Let's swipe back to take a photo. From this part, I can swipe to the right, and here we have stories and recent updates. Let me go back. That relates to these buttons down here. I can also press that button, which swipes me to the left. I have two conversations. Right there, I have two. One is from Team Snapchat, which is just basically here, Snapchat 101. Take a photo, etc. This one, because it's officially from Snapchat, takes uh, 30 seconds. But it's explaining, tap it to take a photo, press and hold to take a video. We'll talk about adding captions and stickers and all of this text. But this is a good explanation from the Snapchat team. So the icon changed that I viewed it. When I go back to the home screen, well, it hasn't gone down yet, but that would show me that I have two conversations. On the right, recent update from, from Team Snapchat. And again, these companies here have had partnerships with Snapchat. So you can see original content from them and also live events. That's on the right. From the screen over here, I can tap the little ghost. The little ghost is the Snapchat mascot. Or I can swipe down. 
and that shows me that's my snap code. That code right there will connect you with other people. Um, uh, I'll explain a little bit how that works a little bit later. But this is how you get people to follow you. You can share that snap code on Twitter, on Facebook, on Google+, one-on-one -on, -one on, on Snapchat, and it basically connects you with, with the other uh, Snapchatter. How do these, uh, I see one of the, uh, one picture here with the, uh, and then it takes you to the website. I think it's a website. Was it from one of these official companies? Yeah. Yeah, let me get back to that because that's, that's pretty advanced. So let me, let me come back to that. Um, I'm looking at, at here these particular options you can add a selfie to the icon so that it's not just the ghost icon. Who has added me? Yeah, so that it you know looks interesting instead of just a static picture. You can uh, you can make a little animation, a little animated. Uh, I believe GIF is the correct pronunciation there, Flor. Just kidding. Just kidding. Everyone has their own. Exactly. I'm just kidding, but the correct one is GIF. So. Um, let me, let me try it, actually. I'm going to tap right there, tap to selfie, and then right here. So I'm going to tap and hold it. Ready, set, go. There we go. So I have a little animated selfie snap code. I'm going to say, yep, I like that. So now I can have my animation there. It's just optional, but this these dots around it's kind of like a QR code or a barcode. Those those dots there represent this account here. Um, so if you share that, so we have uh, add friends. Let's see, add nearby. Maybe I'll see everyone here because we're, maybe we're all on the network. So if you'd like to connect with the people right now around here, what you can do is add friends. Oops. Let's give that a try. Let's go to add friends and then click add nearby. Everyone needs to turn on the add nearby if you'd like. And uh, I think if we're all on the same Wi-Fi network, I think that's how it works. If we're all on the same Wi-Fi network, there we go, Abaca Systems. I'm going to add you right there, Jose. So I'm going to tap that. Now we're connected. Is anyone else on Add Nearby? I think you have to be on our on our on our Wi-Fi. So, and then you added me back. So there we go. So, if people are connected to the same Wi-Fi nearby, that's one way to add people. So let's say you've got this restaurant. You tell everyone in the restaurant, "Hey, add us on Snapchat because we're going to give out free coupons." Turn on your Snapchat and put Add Near near me and then everyone connects yeah just us no internet connection oops tap to retry sometimes the Wi-Fi is weird in here so in any event yeah there we go. I see Flora right there. There you go. Add it back. All right, so you can also add from address book. So if you have any addresses in your phone that you want to share, that they're also on Snapchat, you can connect with them. Add by snap code. Add by username. So if you know people's usernames, you can also connect with them that way. And right here, now I come back to this screen and it says I've been added. So the way now that I've got some connections, 
says right there. So now that I've got some connections, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the screen here. Now this is on the on the back facing camera right here. I can change it front facing camera. If you've got a flash, you can turn on flash. Mine doesn't have a flash, but you can turn on flash right there. Front facing or back facing camera. So I'm going to switch it over. Right here. So I've got it on the front facing camera. I'm going to just take a photo. I'm going to tap it once to take the photo. Now we can look at these icons here. So the X at the top left to cancel it. Maybe I don't like that snap actually, so I can cancel it. And then we've got stickers, text, and drawing. So tap the sticker, you have some emoji. You can add as many as you want. So I have some emoji. I don't want that one anymore. Just drag it up to the trash can. And you can also zoom these little guys. I can also add text. If I click the little text icon, I can write something here. Uh, let's see. Broadcasting. I've got some text. So I can change that text. I can place it on different parts of my image. I can also tap the text again to change its style. And it keeps telling me swipe for filters. If you do swipe, um, you have to turn on the filters. I'm going to get back to that later. But um, so you can add text, you can add stickers or emoji, you can also draw. So you have this kind of, I think, a little awkward color palette here. You can select your colors. So I'm snapping. I took a photo and then I added text and emoji and drawings. So I'm going to then click to share it. I'm going to share it with Floor. I'm going to share it with Apica Systems. Next. So it's getting sent. You guys will get some notifications. Right there, floor saw it. So from your home, from the photo screen there, if you tap your icon on the bottom left, you should see you have some new notifications. So I sent it to you guys. You can see that weird picture. I'm going to try one more. This time I'm going to record some video. Hello, I am recording 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 video. So it's just got some simple sound, but I can also uh, add uh, text. I can add text, drawings, emoji, etc. And again, I can send it to individuals. I'm going to save that. In this case, I'm just going to save it. I didn't, I'm not really going to send it, so I can cancel that. 
can you do that? Because <laughs> it's easier. Um, when like the balloons appear. What do you mean? Is that those are the filters, isn't it? If you're if you take a photo and then you swipe over to get the filters. Um, but they're like extra filters. Like like you put the front camera and then you click on your face and then it like grabs your face. Like like the mountain like there. And then you swipe and it's empty. Ah, huh, I didn't know that one. Interesting. That's a new one to me. So they're always doing these interesting updates. So definitely, um, this is something to explore. So here I got some cool rainbows and stuff. So that one is more for the selfie camera, isn't it? You can't do that to the front facing. I'm nervous for Susan on Snapchat because I don't want to. Yeah. All right, so the the share button here, we send it to individual people, but there's also this one that might be better for, for uh, companies, this one called My Story. This one with a little plus. What this one does is it groups together photos and video into a story that lasts, that people can view for up to uh, 24 hours since you publish it. So this one can be some of these longer stories to entice people to follow you and, and all of that. So I'm going to click the add to my story icon and it just tells me here adding a snap to your story allows your friends to view your snap an unlimited number of times for 24 hours. You can change who can view your story in settings. Would you like to add this? Yes, I'm going to add it. So then this takes me over to the screen on the right where we saw a discover of all of these famous companies, any live events that might be happening, and then my story. So my story right now just has one, one shot, one snap. And if I add more, If I add more, if I do another snap, maybe put in a longer time, and keep adding it to my story, whoever follows me or checks out my account with my snap code, they will see there's a story. Well, we have to make a setting change. Actually, right now, I believe it's only private, so who you're connected with. As a business, it might be better to activate the story for anyone to see so that then they can follow you. We'll check that in settings in a moment. But the point is here, let's say I have this completely public. It's, it's kind of private at the moment, but we're going to set it to public if you'd like. Let's say this story was, um, was public. You can only have one at a time, and the pictures expire. So first it's showing this one. Three seconds, then it goes on to that one, four seconds, and then it ends back there. So people can keep looking at these uh, and this is where you can kind of build a narrative, build a story to entice um, followers. So for example over here, 
we have a story that's running out of time. It's about you know um, a quarter of a day old. That's that little circle. It's it's gonna cut. It's from a full circle like mine right here. It's a full circle. As time goes on, it's gonna kind of count down into a small circle. And so that one is running out also. It's about a quarter of the day over. So this is how you entice people. Follow us on Snapchat. Follow the story. Exclusive coupons. They only last 24 hours to entice people. Right now, the story is pretty private. So to make it public as a company, I would go back to the, um, the Snap screen here. Swipe from the top. Or you can swipe on the little ghost. We have uh, uh, we have settings, a little red gear. So it is under who can send me snaps, view my story. This right now it's pretty private. You have to have a connection with friends in order for someone to send you a snap uh, or for people to view your story. This is where you can go in to change view story to everyone or customize it. But I would say as a company, everyone. You want to make it pretty open so that people can check out your account first to see if they really want to uh, follow you. So that was under the settings. You've also got trophies, which are just to make a fun aspect, a more fun aspect of the network. But the ultimate goal, most likely, is that Snapchat will make it available, this whole discover kind of feature, because this is really cool. These companies have a partnership with Snapchat where they can do some pretty impressive kinds of stories. I'm going to check out National Geographic, turn the volume up. Swipe to advance, press and hold to save, pull down to close. So eventually, regular companies will have some feature like this too, where you can uh, have some of this kind of multimedia. So for example here, here's text. Text and video. Swipe to go to the next one, part of the story. Snap us your pet photos at Nat Geo. Check back on Wednesday to see some of your. Uh, so here's how you can uh, build awareness also for your brand. Take a photo, add some text, put in your hashtag or or name. What is the longest novel ever written? Swipe up to find out. What is the longest novel ever written? So if I want that answer, I swipe up. Or D, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. We're in peace. One piece. The now, answer, B. Uh, Alors, Richard, Sont Perdu by Marcel Proust. The novel has an estimated 9,609,000 characters, which comes out to about 1.3 million words. That's more than the entire Harry Potter series combined. So you see here, they've got the ability to do these videos, to have the, you swipe for more, because then I swipe over and it's the next story. So we have a version of this. I'm going to go back. We have a version of this under my story. These guys over here obviously are much more high-end and produced. BuzzFeed, they're a big one. Um, but we have something similar under... Um, my story. 27 underrated makeup brands. You're supposed to be able to tap and hold, and then now that kind of copied it, and then now you can select who to send it to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, what's, um, it can only be when it's blue, right? Yeah, they have to be they have to be active. But after like if you like go through can you still do it? Because Let me give it a try here.
So there is that chat. So right there, I'm bothering you, Jose, and I'm sending you some stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure then about that that uh, FaceTime kind of feature. There's always something to learn. So this is one of these networks that is relatively new. It's it was only uh, really kind of had one kind of purpose about sending each other snaps or you know messages to each other that self-destructed, that disappeared at a certain time. That became so popular that the Snapchat company said, well, maybe we can kind of use it for a different purpose, for, for marketers and companies and such, and that's what we're seeing here. It's still the evolution of, this, of the system. So here, for example, here's some live um, live content. Classic Vancouver is running along the seawall on your lunch break. Yeah. And so these are the partners that they have here. Pretty big names. But for us as a as marketers, we've got my story, which um, which lets you, to some degree, also market. Is there a way to send to a group of people? Yes, uh, you have to select them when you're going to send something. And you you tap the little oh, let me go back uh, you tap the send right here and the group of people are the ones that you select. Oh, do you mean a group like like you organize them? Um, I'm not quite seeing it at the moment. Um, Let's see. You might be able to first go to like in a business you have fifty thousand people and then you want to send all these people that are already made up pushes. I'm not quite seeing a way to organize people into groups because I can look at a particular profile. <laughs> I can look at a profile, but I, I don't see a way to organize them. I just see, you know, edit their name, block them, remove them. I don't see a way to, to, to group people that way. That might be the next version of, of this because right now, you know, I've only got a few people connected here. But yeah, what if I had 500? Um, I don't quite see a way to organize it. Yeah, like in order to sell different promotions to one group and another promotion to another group. Exactly. That would definitely be useful. So I think for the moment um, we've looked at it in general about the the system, and there's still a lot of goodies here and there. It, they're pretty good at and adding extra um, filters and other content as time goes on, and so we should explore it. Remember, it's in all the directions. Oh, I got a new trophy. 
to send the video snap. And then this also has a uh, score, just a way to perhaps see how effective you are. There's the help. And you should explore settings on your own. So that's Snapchat. Um, we won't have any project on it just yet. You should be exploring it. We'll have some time, uh, lab time, <clears throat> for you to check it out if you need any help with it at the moment. And then when we come back, because we've got a uh, holiday in the middle of the week, we're, uh, we're going to talk either more about it or add to it with another network. So any general questions? All right, so if you've never used Snapchat, you should start checking it out and think about it in terms as marketers. So that's it for the moment, and we'll uh, come back next time and do some more.